When, what was the date that the, the name Christians first came into existence? I, I had it here, but I had to look for it because <laughs> I haven't in, in my other... Uh, um... go, you can go and search it. I mean, hey, we, here's the thing about the truth. We're here to talk about the truth, not opinion, okay? Both of us are made in the image and likeness of God. But the difference between us is faith. That's everybody. You know, it's not skin color and all this stuff. It's faith, okay? So we're both made in God's image because the book of Genesis tells us this. Chapter 1. Man was God made man in the image and likeness of God. But there's a difference between faith, belief, what we believe. So what I'm asking now is to explain when did the term Christian, because a Christian is a follower of Christ. When did that term first come to existence? Okay, it cannot come to existence if Christ never came. Okay, so when did that term come into existence? What's okay, the I found it, found it, and the first Christianity council by the Rome Emperor Constantine one in AD three twenty five. So that's where uh, it, it came to the existence about the uh, Christianity. Okay, so you're saying that the term Christian first came in 325 AD? Yeah. Okay, are you, now, do you stand by that was truth that the term Christian first came in 325 years after Christ by Constantine, you say? The term Christian, you say, according to your information, it came 300 and 25 years after AD, correct? Yes. Okay. Now, here's the question to challenge that. I'm gonna poke a, challenge, I'm gonna poke a hole in there right there. In the year, mm -hmm. in the first century, okay, um, 68 AD, there's a man by the name of Emperor in Rome, Emperor Nero. He died at 68 AD. And he was most famous, listen to this, most famous for killing, crucifying Christians. Now, if he, based off history, killing Christians in the first century, killing Christians, how can, in, 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 he died in 68 AD. He was born, um, um, I forgot his birth. I'll get it, 37 AD. He was born in 37 AD, died in 68 AD, killing, killing Christians. Question is, how can the term Christian be used that early, which you say it was 300 years later? The term, can't kill, yeah. you, you, can't, you can't kill what you haven't invented yet. Because it, it has been added and twisted by the Jesuits, by the Popes, who back then, was back then, I would say before of the 68 for what you said, back then in around 40s, it was already besieged of Jerusalem, like for what happened in, in like in, in the book of Daniel, like when, for example, in the book of Ezra, um, chapter when, one. But right now, you, you have to uh, stay, you have to stay before in, in the book of Malachi. In, Jesus, you have to stay before the book of Malachi. I'm not talking about biblical things. I'm talking about history, just, just straight history, okay? You can't have the term Christians yeah, unless but, you have... But, 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 you cannot it, have... It, it, listen to me. For what I, I was about to say. You cannot have the term Christian without first having the lead of Christ. Christ is the Greek word for Messiah. Messiah is the Hebrew word, the anointed word. Okay, so... It, 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 it's the anointed. Yeah, in the, in the Greek word is Christ. So in order for to have Christians, you had to first have Christ. In, wait a minute, in records, 68 AD with a man, he was killing them. But you said 300. You said 325 with Constantine. Constantine rejected Christians before then. Go look at the history. Now, how can he reject Christians if he made up Christians in 325? You can't make, you can't reject something you haven't made. So the term existed way before Constantine. That tells you that they existed and they was following somebody named Christ. Um, with the um, Council of Nicaea, for what I, I was talking about, um, it has its 
states, which is way too interesting. Once again, that's when they decided to accept it. That means they already existed, okay? So, they, so the term Christian already existed. They was fighting, matter of fact, they was killing and fighting Christians. You, can, you cannot kill and fight Christians. You can't do it if you are the one who, who made them up. You can't do it. So your timeline is off. You must stay within the timeline. So you have to stay within history. So if your timeline is off, you have to admit that Constantine did not make up Christians. The term already existed. Matter of fact, I'll give you another one. If you look at the New Testament, the book of Peter, and you research the book of Peter, it was before 300 AD, but the word Christian is in there. He said, do not suffer to be a, I mean, uh, uh, do not suffer being an evildoer, but suffer being a Christian. So Peter already wrote suffering for being a Christian. I can go into history and see Nero and Christian was suffering, just as the Bible said. History confirms it. So once again, mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, the Bible and history hand in hand. So you have to admit one thing. When we have this discussion, you have to admit one thing, my friend. You have to admit that Constantine did not make up the term Christian. It existed 300 years before him. 300 years before Constantine. You can't make up something if you don't exist. Come on now, right? Right. Okay. We're so, going over it when it was twisted. 